few weeks ago, I received a question about our Office Scripts course, and this was the question. Before I start the course on Office Scripts, I was wondering if it is possible to loop through a spreadsheet and with each iteration of the loop, save the spreadsheet as a PDF. I thought it would be useful to show you how you can do this. It's super easy with Office Scripts and Power Automate. So if you're ready, let's get started. For this scenario, we've got two workbooks. They're saved in the PDF Save Demo folder, and they're called PDF Save List.xlsx and Reporting Example.xlsx, and both of them are saved on OneDrive. So let's take a look at each of these workbooks. In our reporting example, you see that we have a report on the left, a selections section in the middle, and then the data and calculations which drive our report. In the selection section, if I change the value to north, you'll see that our charts update. And equally, if we change the date to the 31st of August 2023, then our charts and report also update. Now in the view ribbon, if I click on the page break preview, you'll see that the only section inside the print area is our report. And that's important because that's the area that gets saved as a PDF. Okay, let's revert that back to normal. Then the last item to note is the fact that this worksheet is called report. So we will need that piece of information. So what we want to do is to loop through a list of each region and maybe each date, and then we want to save a PDF of our report. So for that, we've also got a separate table. This table is called report list. It has columns of sheet, and that is the name of the sheet where the cell we want to change. So that was the name of our report sheet. We then have our cell list. This has the values J4 and J6, and that's because the region and the date were in cells J4 and J6. We have a separator of a pipe symbol between that cell list. In the value list, we have our region name North, then the pipe symbol as a separator, followed by the date. Now you will note that even though I'm based in the UK, I have used a US date in this value. And that's because for whatever reason, US dates work, but sometimes UK dates don't. So therefore I have used a US date format. Now when we look at our script, you'll see that we have two values here in our cell list and two values here in our value list. So that means that cell J4 will change to North and cell J6 will change to the 30th of September, 2023. The final column is our PDF name. This is what we want to call the PDF. So we should create six of them, North region, South region, East region, West region, Central region, and all regions. So we've used the asterisk or the star symbol to indicate that we want to include all regions. So that's our scenario. Now let's see how we can make this work. As part of our Office Scripts course, we give away our Power Automate Ready code library. And this is a collection of scripts that you can copy and paste straight into Power Automate. And we're going to be using one of those scripts today. So if I go to Automate, I can see that I already have my script set up. You might need to click New Script to create a new script. And you can find the code for this in the blog post and there are links in the descriptions box below. So I'll select my script and that will load that into the code editor. I'll then click the edit icon, and then we can take a look at the code. Right, I'll expand that window. The first section contains comments about how you can use this script. The next section of code is simply taking parameters that we're going to pass from Power Automate, and it's going to create arrays. So it's going to split the parameters that we pass across into an array of values, an array of cells. So we'll have cells J4 and J6 in our array and a list of values. So they are the values that we're passing across from our table. Then the final element of this script is just to loop through that cell list array and that value list array and to change those relevant cell values. So quite a simple script, but really powerful and all of the parameters that we need are declared at the top in our function declaration. So we need the sheet name, we need the cell list, 
we need the value list and we need the separator. I've saved this as PA change cell values. So make sure yours is saved. And that means it'll then be ready to use inside Power Automate. Now I've logged into Power Automate and we're going to create our flow. So I'll click on create to create a new flow. Now there's lots of different triggers that we could apply here. I'm going to select an instant cloud flow because it's easy to demonstrate. And we're just going to run this from a manual trigger. Let's give our flow a name, PDFs from a list. And then I'll click create. The first thing we want to do is to get the list of PDFs that we want to create. So I'll click new step, and then I'll list the rows present in the table. So I'll search for list row, and you can see there list rows present in a table. I'll select that, it then asks me where my table is. So that is in OneDrive, and then the document library is OneDrive. I can then navigate to the file, and the file that we want is our PDF save list. From there, I can click in the drop down and select the table, and our table was called report list. Right, so that's got the list of all the rows from our table. Now let's add a new step to run the script for each item in that list. I'll search for run script. There we go, run script, I'll select that. So now in this action, we're not searching for the place where the script is, but the workbook that we want to run the script on. So let's find that. So that's in OneDrive, and then OneDrive again and we want to run it on the reporting example workbook. Next, we then get to select the script that we want to use. I'm going to type PA, so it searches for our script, and it was called PA change cell values. Next, it will then find that script and show us all of the parameters that we need to provide. So the first parameter that we needed was our worksheet name. Well, that's contained in our table. That's in our sheet column. So from the dynamic content section, I'll select sheet. You'll notice that this step now changes to an apply to each. And that's because our sheet column had multiple rows. Therefore, Power Automate is going to loop through each of those rows. Let's head back to our script, our cell list. We can find that there. That's also from our list rows present in a table step. We have our cell list. We also want to add our value list. That's also there. And then we need to provide the separator that we use to separate the cell list and the value list. In this example, we use the pipe symbol. So that will now run our script and change those cell values. Right, now let's add a new step. We want to add this step inside our loop. So I'll click add an action, and that will add that inside the loop. The action that we want to undertake is to convert a file. So I'll search for convert file. And you can see there in OneDrive for Business, convert file using path. Let's select that. Now what file do we want to convert? We have our workbook called reporting example. And the target type that we want, we want to save that as a PDF. Now that will create a PDF file, but in memory, what we need to do is to then save that as a file. So I'll click Add Action and then Create File. You can see there in OneDrive for Business, Create File. So I'll select that. Where do we want to create our file? Well, let's navigate to that same folder. So that's in our PDF Save Demo. The file name of what we want to call our PDF, that was in our table in our PDF name column. Then finally, what do we want to hold in that file? Well, we want the content that we created from that convert file using path step. So in there, I'll click file content. And that's it, we're done. So I'll click save to save that. And now it's time to test it out. So I'll come up here, click on test. We're going to run this manually. I'll click test again. It's going to check that we're happy to sign in for these connections. I'll click continue and then run flow. Finally, I'll click done. This is now going to run. While that runs, let's head over into our OneDrive folder and see if we can see these files being created. And wow, look at that, they all appeared. So let's have a look at one of these reports. Let's take a look at the North region. 
So we can see inside that PDF is for the North region for September 2023. Now let's come and take a look at the Central region. And there you can see that this is the Central region for September 2023 as well. So that has successfully created those PDFs. So then if we wanted to save a different set of PDFs, we could come to our PDF save list workbook. This has opened up in Excel online. And then in here, we can simply change the dates or the regions or what the names of our PDFs are. Then once we've saved those, we just come back to Power Automate. Then from our flow, we can just click the run button and that will then execute that flow again. It will read those updated values from the PDF save list so we can generate PDFs easily using this Office Scripts and Power Automate combination. And that's it. That is a modern way for creating PDFs based on a list using Office Scripts and Power Automate. And the best thing of all, you didn't even have to write any code because we used a piece of code from our Power Automate Ready code library. If you'd like to get your hands on that, or you'd like to learn more about how you can use Office Scripts and Power Automate, then why not check out our Office Scripts course over at excelofthegrid.com forward slash Office Scripts course. And there's hyphens between each of those words. So Office hyphen Scripts hyphen course. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.